Hello everybody, Sigar here, back with another educational video for The Infected. And today I'm going to be showing you my brand new base I just built. And as you can see, it is all by itself on my own private island. So, in The Infected there is exactly one island in the game. And that is right here. There are a few other small islands spread about, but if you go to like either of these, these two down here, they look like an island on the map, but if you go down to these islands, there'll be like a small strip of land connecting them to the, the mainland, so they're not really islands. If you look down underneath, you can see there's no way to walk to it. You have to build a bridge to actually get to it. And that bridge, as you can see, I've definitely built. So let me give you a base tour, and then I'll show you how I built this place. Let me run over here real quick. And I did leave the trees here because I do like the trees. Trees are always essential. I wish they were palm trees, but they are just regular trees. So let's let's head up here. I'm going to head up the stairs here. I'm going to give you a little base tour. So right up front here, I have some nice glass panes here. Nice glass walls, some glass windows, ceiling. Very, very nice. Got my kitchen table here. No guests yet. I don't, I don't have any guests for some reason. Not a lot of visitors. Okay. And then I have my outer perimeter here. And the view, I, I gotta say the view here is quite nice. See if I can give you a nice view. Down the, uh, down the river there. That's a river, right? Yeah, that's, that's kind of a river. Yeah, okay. And then the endless ocean. Perfect. And then I did add some nice uh, glass ceilings. And as far as the architecture, I have a mixture of roofs, wooden roof, and then I have some, uh, what is this called? Roof cap two. Roof cap two, and then a regular roof cap. This It's basically, if you go in the building menu, there's one that's slanted and one that's a rectangle. So I have both of those. I was just trying to add a little bit of uh, diversity to the uh, the building menu there, so kind of the way I like the way this looks. Some uh, nice leather going, leather couch, leather armchair. My bed. This is my kitchen right here. I finally found the ceiling lamp, so I have that lit up here. Looks pretty nice. And then if we head upstairs here, nice little outlook area, little watchtower. Again, the vast ocean that leads to nowhere. No waves. There's no waves in this ocean here. Not a single wave to be found. But if we look towards the mainland, it looks pretty nice. And what I did to build this, just had the regular wooden ceiling. And then we have wooden pillars built around here. And on top of that, I had my wooden roof corners for the most part a flat roof on the top and then in, in uh what do i got here then i have an inner roof corner here so I, I mixed in the roof elements to get a nice blend going and i feel like i turned out pretty nice this is probably the best view in the game if i say so myself i mean you can build a base like at the top of that area over there. There's another really high area. I think on the top of this mountain, which I'm definitely gonna build my next base up here, but like as far as the view goes, like this is pretty nice. So let me head back down here. I'm gonna show you the foundation. Actually, before I do that, 
Let me show you this real quick. So to give you a closer view of the roof. So I had a flat roof here, slanted roof there, little glass ceiling there. So I feel like this is a pretty cool design. Got a little extra porch going right here too. The wood railings are good because if you fall off, if, you, if I fell off here, which I've never done before, I've never fallen before, but if I did, I would definitely break my leg or possibly die. And then I have my double roof here. Not fall to my death here. Okay. And then, like I said, let me show you the foundation of this place. It's pretty much just straight wooden foundations that I built up as high as it can let me build. I could upgrade this to concrete if I wanted to, but the concrete in this game, it doesn't look that great. I feel like the surface of the concrete looks good on the foundation, but the bottom part is just, it's just a flat gray color. The wood looks really great, especially in this island kind of uh, atmosphere. Especially with this lighting too. Look at that lighting. Jeez, that's beautiful. That looks good. Okay. Anyway, so I got my wood ramps up here. So as far as building this base, what I basically did is I took a bunch of supplies from my original base here in a wood cart and it's moved them down. I think I made two trips. You can see one of my carts right here. And then I built first um, a few things. So I built a mineral extractor. The mineral extractor is the best item in the game by far. And that I still have on stone. So actually, while I'm here, let me take these stones. I am barely walking right now, but I'm going to put these in the basket of the stone grinder. The stone grinder is going to give you iron fragments and sand, both of which I used. The iron fragments you're going to use for a ton of items in the game, including like these, uh, these fire pots here. Those take five iron fragments a piece. The sand you need for these uh, glass doors and the glass roof and the glass uh, walls here. I also built this clay soil extractor, which is getting pretty full because I haven't emptied it in a while. And actually, I need some oil for that. Let me build that up real quick. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let me pull this up. Power that on. So every every minute, it's gonna give you one clay soil, I think, which is not bad. So the clay soil you'll mainly need for this build in the roof. So every piece of the roof is gonna need uh, 10 clay. So with the clay soil, you just take 10 clay soil, run over to the workbench here, throw it on, and then it gives you 10 clay in the process. You also need clay for the uh, brick forge, which I've been using to uh, melt down different uh, minerals for ingots. So that's always useful. The main thing you want to do if you're building a new base, whether it's on an island or no matter where you build on the map, is this thing right here. So the control panel. The great thing about this game is that every piece of uh, power generating equipment you build will be distributed across the map. So as you can see here, I have a ton of power, like 520 power. There's not a single piece of power equipment on this uh, island right here. All of it is back in my first base I built, which uh, is very far away. So all that stuff is generating power to this base. So I can easily deselect and reselect stuff on this here. So my oil pump is back in my first base. So are both these oil extractors. The only thing I have at this base running right now is my ceiling lamp and then as well as my stone grinder, which I just turned on. So now this is going to be breaking stuff down. 
So whenever you're starting a new base, no matter if it's on an island or anywhere on the map, don't worry about building a whole, whole nother power grid. Just build another control panel like I just did here, and then you'll, you'll be taken care of. I do have a whole nother guide on uh, power. So I'll link that in the description below. That's going to be very helpful if you're trying to like build a second base. Because no matter what you do, your first base is never going to be exactly perfect. You're going to want to build a second one and a third one. There's no way you're going to start your first base and build it here. It's not going to happen. So keep that in mind. When I came here for my first base, the first thing I did is actually went into the game settings and I changed the settings so it's only winter. When you're in winter, all this water right here is going to be all frozen. The great thing about that is you can take your law cart and just move it right across the water. So let me show you how that looks. I also built a circular saw bench over here. The great thing about this is, see like right now it's in the middle of nowhere. If you go over to it, press N, you can move it to a spot where there's a ton of trees. So for example, right here, go over to a tree like this one. Pick up uh, three logs or so and fill it up. This makes it so easy. So every time you go back to your base, you're going to have the most amount of logs you can carry as well as the most amount of planks as well. So that's going to make building stuff like this very, very simple. All right, everybody. So thank you for watching this video as always. If you got some good information, please like and subscribe and check out my other guides for the infected and I will see you next time.